Hey guys, Ginny here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the products that were my 2013 favorites. They were the best things out there at the time and I'm going to let you know if they're still the best or if something has come along to take its place. So I've kind of divided these up into categories and I have a lot to share. Last year I divided this into a drugstore and a high-end version and I'll link those videos below. Um, but right now I'm going to go over everything. So let's get started. Now, if these are the products that I love more than ever, maybe even more than last year, I've got to start with my MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I, it wasn't my color all season, but as soon as I was able to break this back out, I did. And it's in W20. Next, the Anastasia Brow Pencil. You guys have heard me talk about this. I even got one from my mom. The Urban Decay Duo Liner, when this one runs out, I'll definitely repurchase because it's so great for packing. You've got a black and a brown. I like to put brown on my lower lash line, especially in the summer. Um, so this is the best of both worlds. I've mentioned this recently, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I still love it. The Maybelline Age Rewind. I have like three or four of these in every shade, so I can use it year-round. I really love this, and I love the brightening one, too. My Milani Brow Kit, I have one in light, I have one in medium, yep, and I use it year-round. My Rimmel Scandalize in brown, it is teeny tiny, and I really, really love this thing. It is awesome. Maybelline Lash Discovery, I have tried the Clinique Bottom Lash just this past year, and while it's good, I still like this one better. It sets faster, and it doesn't budge all day. My Sonia Kashuk palettes cannot be beat. They are a huge drugstore jewel, in my opinion, and yeah. And then, of course, the butter glosses. I thought last year that they might be discontinuing these, but thank goodness they did not. They've come out with more colors, and I just love the scent. I love the way it applies. It cannot be beat, especially at this price. While I have not repurchased the Benefit Professional, I still really do like it. I think it's an excellent primer. I just have so many to go through um, that I haven't repurchased. The IT Cosmetics CC Cream, love this stuff. Enough said. My Hoola Bronzer, it is perfect for contouring. I love how it's so cool toned and I can wear it when I'm super pale or during the summer. MAC Soft and Gentle, it's a cult favorite for a reason. I love this champagne color. It is gorgeous. The Cheek Hue in Data Delight. Not sure if you can still get this color, but it lasts all day. It's like a tattoo for your cheeks and it's wonderful. Next, Soft Ochre. Now I tried to branch out this year and use other products because I was using this nonstop. Um, I got another paint pot to use and I've been trying different primers. But if I want a really intense eye, I want all the colors to show up exactly as they look in the pan, I still reach for this. My Urban Decay Super Curl, I use that most of this year as well. I have not repurchased it because I have so many mascaras to go through, and I really, really love the Kat Von D mascara, which kind of has taken that one's place, but I stu still really do like it a lot. And then the NYX Blush in Natural, this one is the best cream blush from the NYX line. If you pick up any one, just pick up this one. Now, I love that Physicians Formula liner, and I probably will repurchase, but only because this Jessie's Girl liner is limited edition. It, to me, is an exact dupe and at half the price. So I stocked up on these, and I won't have to repurchase the Physicians Formula for quite a while. Now, I was obsessed with this for a long time, but I think my love for it has kind of simmered now. The Revlon Nearly Naked Powder, I know that it's very hard to find, and I was rationing off using this last one because I didn't think I'd be able to find another one. Um, and I still do love it, but I'm not as obsessed with it as I was. And then the L'Oreal Color Riche. I have, like, all of these. And I do like them a lot but I was super passionate about them last year and now it's kind of uh, slowed down a little bit, but yeah. 
Now, I'm not saying this Cargo Matte Bronzer is a bad product at all. I've just kind of forgotten about it because I've stopped um, really trying to warm up my face a lot. Um, if I do contour, I just stick to this area right here, maybe something along this lines. But what this bronzer is best for is kind of all over warming everything up. And I just don't do that anymore, so I kind of forgot about this. And I really did love the um, blushes from Tarte. They last a long time, but I haven't repurchased any since last year. Um, and I just kind of have forgotten about them. Um, no reason in particular. The Boudoir palette from Too Faced. I think I would still love this just as much if I hadn't gotten the um, Eyes on Neutral palette. That one has kind of taken the place in my heart of this one. This one is still a great one. I just um, have forgotten about it. The Garnier BB Cream. I used this nonstop as a mixing agent last year and this year I don't think I've picked it up once. Um, I just, there's just been so many other things on the market as far as BB creams that I really wanted to try out and I just haven't found myself reaching for this one. The Maybelline Vivids. Now, they were game changers in my opinion when they first came out. Nothing like this was at the drugstore, but as you all know, super bright lips have not been the trend lately, so I have not reached for these at all. Um, I think the, the Maybelline Matte uh, lipsticks are, yeah, taking the place of this one. To they're just, I guess with the trend or whatever, there's nothing wrong with these and I'm glad I have them because, you know, there's nothing else like them. But lip crayons were all the rage last year, so I have a ton. But these are collecting dusts. I just don't use them anymore and, yeah. Steel aligners, I like them still. Um, I've just been trying other things and I don't use them as much. And then this Physician's Formula Highlight. I like it, especially when I'm trying to go super dramatic, but on an everyday basis, I just do not use this at all. One more thing I forgot to mention, I have to cut it in right here. The e.l.f. blushes, I loved them last year. I specifically mentioned the one in Twinkle Pink, and I have not been wearing a shimmery blush hardly at all this year, and have not touched that one. I think I might have even given it away to my sister. Um, but I have totally just fallen out of love with this e.l.f. blushes, so I thought I'd mention that. So those are the products from last year. If anything up here that I shared you'd like to comment on, please feel free to comment below. And I got this idea from Kristen K. revisiting favorites from the past year, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.